Welcome back to Coco Line Fitness, guys. So today we're gonna do a nice, rejuvenating, lazy day workout. This one is perfect if you're having just kind of a tired day, fatigue day, or a little bit of a pain day, but you still wanna get a good workout in. If that sounds good to you, come join me, grab your mat, take off those shoes, you can stay in those PJs if you want, but let's just get ready to move the body and feel good for the rest of the day. See you in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a really relaxing warm up. You're gonna take your feet out wide and keep a nice slight bend to those knees. You're just gonna bring your shoulders up to your ears and then pull your elbows back behind you. We're doing nice, slow shoulder rolls here. We're just gonna do two more. And one more. Very good. Okay, I want you to kind of release any tension that you've gained in your neck. So you're gonna drop your chin down to your chest. Exhale. And inhale. Now you're gonna take your chin out to the corner near your opposite shoulder here. You feel that one? I know. Who knew you had all this tension in your neck? We do carry a lot of stress in this part of our body. Oh, this warm out is so good because it's like a stretch. It's like a cool down. Love that. Lazy day. Roll the shoulders a little bit faster now. Now let's mom forward. Very good. Okay, you're just going to do a little side knee bends here. Nice and slow. Yes. Feels so good. Four more. Feel that nice, deep stretch in your inner thighs? I definitely do. Last one. You're gonna hold it over here. Hold. You're gonna take that outside arm and reach it up and over. Drop it down and take the inside arm, reach it up and over. Come join me. This is an active stretch here. We don't wanna hold any of the stretches stationary because our muscles are not warmed up yet. Let's just do two more. Cause it feels so good. Last one. Very good, you're gonna to turn to the side. You're gonna reach it up and swing it back. Up. I'm already losing my balance here. Not a good sign, not a good sign at all. Yes, I think you guys know why I decided to do this lazy girl workout today. Cause I'm feeling lazy. Yes, feeling tired. Last two. How about you guys? How do you feel today? Okay, you're gonna bring your arms back and then forward, back, Warming up your upper back, your chest, your biceps, your triceps. Last two. Last one. Very good. Now you're going to roll down. Come into a deep runner's lunge. And you're going to tip your hips down towards the floor and then pop them up. Here we go. Yes, this is a great workout. Even if you're having like a pain day, because we're not doing any impact at all. In fact, all the moves are a little bit Pilates based. Last one. Very good. Turn to the center. Round it up. Come down into the inner thigh stretch here. Bring the arm up and over. Switch sides. Yeah, so super good for the body. It tones every muscle but no impact, low intensity. It's great for any kind of health issues, any kind of fatigue or pain. Smile. I'm already feeling so much better. Last one. Very good. Okay, turn it to the side. Stationary lunge here. Arms go front and pull. 
We do this move a lot in our ISO shape series, which if you are having a fatigue day and this workout just isn't long enough for you, you want a little bit more, then do one of our ISO shaped workouts. It combines isometric, isotonic moves with stretching. It's very deceiving. <laughs> Last one. Okay, one more. Very good. Come down. Deep runner's lunge. Yes, for those of you who have done those workouts, all of the moves look so easy, but woo, you get your sweat on, you tone every inch of your body because you're combining so many different movements all at once. And it's low impact, no impact. Yes, I'll put it in the card above. Couple more. Last one. Oh my goodness, come to the front. Stay here, tap it down, and roll it back. Here we go. We do this stretch a lot in our warm-ups. It really helps loosen up tight hamstrings, tight back. We sit all day in those chairs by those computers. That area is definitely tight. Last two, last one. Take those feet together. Again, roll the shoulders back, inhale up, and down, one more, and down. Great job. Okay, let's start round one. We're gonna come onto our hands and knees into a cat stretch position here. <sighs> okay, so I like to turn my hands out to support my body and my core. You're going to hold your abs up and in into a cat stretch. Release, and then lift one arm up. Squeeze your low back every time you lift that arm. Drop it down, up, down, lift that arm, down. Got it? We're gonna go a little bit quicker here. Up, lift, up, and lift. Now, every time you lift that arm, your back comes out of that cat stretch position so it's like the reverse art here. That'll really help you to isolate the muscles in the low back better. Very good. Relax your head and neck here. You don't want to put any unnecessary strain on the area. And every time you do a cat stretch, hold those abs up and in. You know, cat stretches are one of the best exercises you can do for a tight and toned stomach. Yes, sir. Doesn't look like much, but it trains the muscles to be pulled in. Last one on each side. Whew. Awesome work. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but with the legs. Still working those abs. Now we're gonna work our glutes and our hamstrings. So we're gonna squeeze it up, down, kick, and down, switch sides, up, down, kick, and back to start. Here we go. Up. Up. Don't forget to breathe. At the point of exertion here, exhale. Very good. We're doing a lot of Pilates movements, but we're changing them slightly so that they don't put any stress on the neck. Oh, I lost it there for a second. How'd you guys do? Still going good? Still going strong? I know, it's a lazy day. We have an excuse. We're tired. But hey, at least we're here. Be so proud of yourself for just coming and doing something. Okay, we're just gonna do one more on each side. Last one. Great work. Okay, now you're gonna come back down onto your back. Just gonna move my microphone here. Okay. We are gonna do roll-ups. So the key here is you wanna make sure that your low back is always on the floor. You don't want it to creep up. So I like to keep my knees bent and my feet flat on the floor. Gonna bring your arms up over your head and then without momentum, 
You're gonna roll up and reach past your toes. Okay, here we go. Roll down, very good. Now if you're doing this properly, when you roll down, you might hear like little cracks in your spine, little pops. I know, cracks sound scary. So not cracks, I would say like pop in your spine and that's okay, that's good. You're kind of getting the blood flow into that area. This will help reduce pain in your low back. Don't forget to breathe at the top. Inhale as you come down. So see how slow we're going here because we really don't want to flop around with this movement. You really want to have good form when you do this. So you isolate the core. You get the most bang for your buck and you don't cause any injury. I'm starting to creep up off my mat here. Does that happen to you guys when you do these? Start to creep off your mat? I know, I think I'm moving slightly somehow. I don't know how, but I am. Okay, let's just do one more. Great job. That one was so much fun. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into pretzels. We're gonna work our glutes, our outer thighs. We're gonna work our obliques. Love that. So you're gonna bring one bent leg in front of you and your other leg slightly behind you but keeping your thigh in line with your hip. So you're gonna lean forward onto that bent knee, put all your weight forward. You're gonna lift that leg up and you're gonna lift your toe up into the water, out of the water I should say, and then tap it down into water. It's a good way to visualize. Here we go, up. Okay, so we're gonna do about 10 of these and then we're gonna change the movement of the leg. So we work different parts of the leg, different parts of the obliques. Whew. Woo! This one's challenging, definitely. You wanna make the movement bigger here, you get an even better burn. So I'm lifting my knee up and down. That helps with the rotation here. Okay, four. I think I made you do more than 10, yeah. Yeah. Okay, stay here. You're gonna push that foot back behind you and then bring it slightly forward. Here we go. This one's always a little awkward, I know, because you're like, what do I do with my arm? What do I do? How far do I lean over? Just listen to your body. Do what feels okay for you. If you start to get like cramping in your side, then drop the legs down and shift your body into a different position where you don't have that, okay? Four, three, two, smile. You're almost done with this side. Last one. I'm just gonna do a little stretch here. I think we earned it, most definitely. Stretching, like the best part of my day. What about you guys? Stretching is so good for us, especially if we have mobility issues. Leaning forward, lift that leg up, tap your knee down and up, or your toe up out of water and then into water. Here we go. And I noticed that if you lean a little bit farther towards your leg, you do feel it more in your obliques, most definitely. But do what you can do today. Just move that body. Yeah, so stretching, I'm telling you guys, if you have any kind of pain issues, if you have fibromyalgia, anything like that, stretching helps to realign the body so that when you do exercise, there's less injury, there's less pain, and you can keep coming back for more and keep feeling better. It's true. So stretching is a vital part of your workout routine. Don't neglect it, please. Four, this side's harder, I think. <sighs> Last one, stay here. I'm gonna push it behind and then forward. <sighs> Again, these look like little moves and those who aren't doing these moves and just watching, you probably think this is nothing. But you who are doing it, what do you think? Burning? Yes, little but mighty, love that. You don't have to flop around and do crazy high intense moves to see changes in the way you look and feel.
Trust me, I did that. It didn't work for me. Put it in the comments below. Did you guys try that? And how did it affect your body? Was it good? Was it bad doing those super intense moves? Let me know. Two, one. Ah, take a nice little stretch here. You earned it. Get ready for round two. Okay guys, round two. Let's go down back onto the mat. We're gonna do some bridge work. We're gonna work our arms here. So again, push your back onto the floor. You're gonna lift your booty up as high as you can go and squeeze everything in this area. You're gonna take those arms up. And as you come down into the bridge, you're actually going to move your arms up overhead and then bring them back when you come up into the bridge. Here we go. And don't forget to squeeze that booty. Now, just because you're moving the arms doesn't give you a break. You gotta keep focusing on the area you're trying to work that butt. The arms just help us get the blood flowing into the upper body, okay? So, we like that. But even though it's a lazy day workout, we do want to make each move count and we do want it to be super effective. You know, if you're going to take the time out of your busy day to work out, you want to make it count. Definitely. I know I do. You know, moving the arms too is wonderful for this exercise because you're not getting the added support from your arms to keep your booty up in the air. So you're working your butt double time. That's kind of a pun on words, I guess. Last four, last three, last two, last one. Now this is the trick. You're gonna hold it up as high as you can go here. You're gonna take those arms overhead. We're doing an isometric bridge here while we circle the arms right and then left. This is gonna work your core, believe it or not. Here we go, right? and left. So squeeze your lower abs. This helps stabilize your trunk, your torso, so it doesn't flop all over the place. Whew. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those abs. Focus on the abs right now and the booty. Whew. Going right circle and left circle. Try not to let those legs flop around. Whew. This is why this is effective. I know you're starting to feel it. You're starting to feel the burn, aren't you? I am. If you're not, you're a better person than me, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna do four, three. It's like a little hip hop move right here, isn't it? Yes, gotta incorporate dance. Last one. Great work, how'd you do with that squeeze? Woo, everything should be burning. Okay, now we're gonna come up. Let me fix my thing here. Okay, come up into a stationary reverse plank here. I'm just gonna bring your knee in, drop it down. In, drop it down. This one's hard, so I'm not gonna do that many. Don't worry. I didn't forget. <laughs> squeeze those arms, squeeze those triceps, squeeze your booty. It should be so fatigued from the last two exercises. Okay, four more, you can do it, four. We can do it, two, one, we did it. Okay, come up into a nice seated position here and take your legs out wider than hip width apart Right at the edge of your mat and your feet are flexed. This is a nice classic Pilates move here. So I don't have arms or room to extend my arms. So what I'm gonna do is just reach towards my pinky toe, come back, reach towards my other pinky toe and come back. If you have room to extend those arms, by all means do it. Here we go. Now this one's great for your upper abdominal area. It really isolates the core. It helps with that little back fat area. I know I hate 
It's a little different than a muffin top. You know what I'm talking about. Keep going. Don't forget to exhale as you extend. If you can't reach right to the tippy toes, reach just as close as you can here, but try to make that nice twist in your torso here, that movement, that's where the work is happening. <sighs> yes. Let's just do four, three, two, one. Great work. Okay, our last little exercise for this round. We're gonna do knee push-ups into child's pose. I know. Knee push-ups, what am I thinking? But we get to do a child's pose in between each one, so let's just get to it. Here we go. And then extend, push back. Okay, what do you think? Should we do about 12? That's not that bad, right? We can do it. We already did four, only have eight more to go. Don't forget, keep that back straight as you come down into that push-up. You can do full leg push-ups here. If you're starting to get some energy and you feel good about doing that, you can keep good form. What are we on? We got two more. Woo! Come on. You did it, you did it. <laughs> End of round two. Okay, you've made it to your last and final round, round three. So we're gonna go back into that seated position here. Now you're gonna take your legs together. Your feet are flexed. You're gonna take your arms and you're just gonna scoop your arms towards your toes, past your toes, and then pull them back in. Here we go. Push and then back in. Now as you can see, I changed my arm here. We're working our abs still. <sighs> Try to do this without shifting your whole body, flopping around, it's easy to do. Squeeze your abs when you come down, pull them back. <sighs> keep changing my arms here. Do what you want with those arms, but keep this motion. It's like little circle motion, pull it back. <sighs> Are you squeezing everything? I know. <sighs> Relax your shoulders. Don't let them hunch up to your ears. It can be a little stressful. I definitely was starting to do that. And I definitely feel the tension. Let's just do four, three, two, last one. Great work. Okay, now we're gonna come down into sideline series. We're gonna focus on our outer thighs. I like to rest my head on my arm, but you can rest your head on your hand right here. You're gonna take your legs out, straighted legs, to the corners of your mat and lean slightly forward with the support of your hand. So that way your hips are stacked. You're gonna lift your heel up towards the sky, and then as you come down, you're gonna point your toe up towards the sky. So it's a little rotation up and then point it down. Sorry, point it up, that's what I meant. You know what I meant. I'm already feeling this one. I don't know why. Maybe it's from those pretzels. How about you guys? That just means we're working hard, even though it's a lazy day. We can be lazy hard workers. Is there such a thing? I don't know. We just made it up. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay, let's just do eight. You can do it. We can do it, I can do it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Ah, that one was tough. Wow, okay, let's switch sides. Gotta switch sides. So we can make both sides even here. We don't wanna have one super toned outer thigh and one flabby outer thigh. Not at all. Here we go. So lift up with your heel. 
and then down with your heel, better way. Up and down. Nice little curve here. You hear the truck outside behind me? Those trucks are so loud. Oh well. Hold your abs in. Don't let your body flop all over the place. Try to keep those hips stacked and not fall backwards or forwards. That's the hard part. Ah, okay, eight more, I'm talking too much. Yes, five, four, three. Let's just get through it. That's what. Ah. Woo, oh my goodness, that was tough. Okay, you're gonna hate me. You are gonna hate me. You're gonna come back on to all fours and we're gonna do fire hydrants. Okay, so this one I like to come down onto my elbows and your arms are in like a little triangle position here. You're gonna put all your weight on one knee and then you're gonna lift that opposite leg or the opposite knee up and then bring it down. Here we go. See why you're gonna hate me? I know. I know. It's okay, you can tell me in the comments below how much you hate me. It's like a love-hate thing, right? You know it. Okay, I hope so, I hope that's what it is. Okay, let's just do eight, seven, count with me, it makes it easier. Four, three, two, one. What? I have no word. I don't know why I put that one in there. Okay, come down. Oh yeah, don't forget to hold your abs in. Don't let them flop all over the place. Let's just get through this one, okay? I know, it's rough. This side's harder. Come on, you can do it. Let's just do eight more. Eight, seven, Six, that butt's on fire too. You feel it? Three, this gets those nice little indents in your booty. Whew. And a super tone outer thigh area. No more saddlebags. Okay guys, now we're gonna come down onto our stomachs and we're gonna work that booty even more. So if you're not looking at a camera like me, you can place your forehead down on the top of your hands, just enough area so you can breathe. Otherwise, I'm gonna look up so I can see you. You're gonna push your heels together and you're gonna lift those feet up high and then bring them down, making sure those heels keep touching. Working that booty, here we go. Lift, squeeze, 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 squeeze. You can do it. Getting that nice booty lift, yeah? We love it. This helps tighten and tone. That whole little area that's right underneath your butt. We love that too. Helps us eliminate well, some of those jigglies. I mean, not all those jigglies, because I don't know a single person who doesn't have some jigglies. That's just normal. And then anybody who tells you different is lying, I think. We all have them. So embrace the ones you have. But it doesn't hurt to reduce them. Make them a little bit tighter, right? We love that. Okay, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, yes, I know. The movement was getting smaller and smaller as we progressed, right? Oh, getting tired. Okay, last little movement. And this one is so awesome for your hamstrings. But this one, you're gonna keep your knees and your feet together the entire time. You're gonna bring the legs up into three bounces and then down on four. You're gonna do this really quick. It's a nice Pilates move, so come join me. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. The key is extending those legs almost to the floor and then quickly bringing them back while you squeeze your hamstrings. This gets us this nice round hamstring muscle that looks great in shorts. This is good for guys and girls, anyone. Don't forget to breathe. Should we count? What do you think? Eight more. Seven. 
The key here is squeezing the back of those legs every time you do this or it won't count. And if you get cramps, you can go into a nice little child's pose stretch. The last two, last two, last one. You did it, go into that child's pose. Stretch everything out, you earn this nice cool down and stretch. See you in a minute. Time for your stretch. Just come out of that child's pose. And we're gonna have a nice deep stretch for our glutes and our hip flexors and our outer thighs. So you're gonna go into pigeon mode here, bringing one knee in front of you and the other leg straight behind you. Kind of shift around so that you can get in good form here. And you're gonna lean forward towards your knee. This one feels amazing, right? So good. You could stay here all day. This is why stretching is the dessert. It's the best part. This is so great for anyone having pain associated with fibromyalgia because again, it realigns the body. It prevents any unnecessary soreness when you do decide to work out. And for those of us, or those of you who don't have pain issues, it just helps everything function better so that in the future, you don't have pain issues. Yes, I know. It's sad that we have to worry about that, but that's oh, true. Okay, so let's lean forward on this knee here. Nice deep stretch. Feels amazing. Very, very good. Okay, coming on up. Keeping one knee bent in front of you and the other behind you, just like we did with the pretzels, we're gonna do that mermaid stretch. So you're gonna take one hand out to the side and bring the opposite arm up and over. And just relax your head and neck here. Inhale and exhale. This is a great stretch for those pretzel moves that we did, by the way. Really lengthens the entire oblique area on the low back. Take the opposite hand down and reach it up and over. You can drop your elbow to the ground here. This makes it a little bit easier to support. Relax your head and neck. Great work, let's sit size. Bring it up and over. And how do you feel? You feel rejuvenated for the day, ready for things to come. I know I do. Love that. And we still got a really good toning workout out of it. So definitely going to be a go-to for me on my bad days. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this, if it was too much for you, too little, if you'd like to see more. Your input means so much to me. Okay, we have to stretch out the back of the legs, the hamstrings, we definitely work those. So you're gonna flex your feet and bring them towards your chest, inhaling up, and you're gonna reach as far forward as you can, whether it be to the toes, the ankles, the shins, the knees, totally your call. Just go down to the point where you do feel a nice lengthening in the back of the legs. You don't wanna bounce here, so no bouncing. Very, very good. You can feel this in your low back as well, right? Yeah, love it. Your upper back, your left. Okay, round it up. Now crisscross those legs. You're gonna take one hand behind you to your opposite side and you're gonna clasp those fingers together while you bring your ear down towards your shoulder. You feel that? Yes. Feels so good. Releases any tension we may have had before, during the workout. And you're gonna drop your chin down towards your chest at an angle here. You're gonna get an even deeper stretch. Slowly bring that back up, let's switch sides. 
drop your ear to your shoulder. Try not to creep that shoulder up to meet the ear. That kind of defeats the purpose. It causes more tension. We don't want that. Okay, and bring your chin down towards your chest, but stop when you're at an angle. Feel this in our arms too. This is a great bicep shoulder stretch. Love it, I'm gonna have to remember this one. Okay, clasp those hands behind you and push them out as far as you can. We're gonna lengthen the neck here. So you're gonna take your chin up towards the sky. And then back down. This is great if you have that forward head syndrome. It takes a lot of the weight off your spine. Let's do it again. And bring it down. Again, we want to release that tension there. Shoulder rolls back. You did it. You're amazing. Inhale up. Keep coming back for more. We have new workouts every single week as long as my health pulls out. And please let me know what you thought about this in the comments below and like or thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It does help us spread the word about Crocoline Fitness and about moderate intensity workouts and how they are so good and beneficial and healing to the body. I hope you have an amazing day and we hope to see you next time. Take care.